All right, so today we're doing an Apex Legends uh, weapon tier list. All right, so we're just gonna be doing it in order from like the um, the loadout menu in the game. So I saw rifles and then ending with pistols. All right, so first up we got the flatline. Um, I mean you can fuck some people up with it. Uh, what what would that be? Oh boy, now we got the G7 Scout. This motherfucker used to be so OP. Like, I want to say, I know Season 1 and Season 2, but I don't know about the rest. But you pair this thing up with a fucking Peacekeeper or Wingman in Season 1 or 2, you're fucking everyone up. But, um, I'll put it C. Like a high C, though. Alright, now Hemlock. Do I even need to say anything? They buff this shit. And it's like, is, right now, this is like one of the best weapons in the game, other than a uh, weapon we'll get to later. Okay, the R301. This might be a controversial opinion, but personally, I think this is somewhat better than the R99 because, say, someone has like blue armor and you land in the same spot and you get an R99 and you hit every single one of your shots but they're not gonna die you need a secondary weapon and this is just like without um without the extended mags i'll put it a lower s than um the hemlock the havoc is like whatever i'll use it if i'm on spawn and there's no other gun but i'm not carrying this to end game or anything i'm not trying to use this in a battle all right now we got the alternator eh, it's an okay gun but the re45 is everything that the alternator wants to be Again, like this, this used to be really good, but again, I'm not trying to use this. I'll use it on spawn, and that's about it. Prowler is whatever. You can make it full auto. I'll put it at B. It's not bad, but you just don't see many people using it. And now the R99. If you get a purple extended light mag on it, it's better, but that's kind of hard to find sometimes. I'll put it S tier, but just right after the R301. The Devotion LMG. You don't really see anyone with this because it's um, whatever the supply drop. You know, it builds up its speed and fucking shreds through everything. But um, it's not that common. You don't see that many people with it. And plus, by the time that you find one, you usually already have your loadout set up. And plus, it's got limited ammo. So I'll put it at A tier. Spitfire is pretty good. But um, this is a gun that I use before I find any of these guns. Or like a secondary weapon, so I'll put it like I'll put it B, but a high B. The L star. I've never been a fan of the L star, but some people like it. I'll put it at a high C. Now on the sniper rifles, we're starting off with the longbow. It's not super bad, but it's not super good. I'll put it at a low B. Craver is unarguably the for like top three snipers. It's just like the go-to sniper basically. You're not using a triple take for one taps like you would with a Craver. So you no, know I'll give it an A. Why not? And now we have a triple take. It's a decent weapon. I'll put it at C. Charge rifle. If you're not using the charge rifle and you're playing scrims or ranked, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know if it's just my opinion, but the Sentinel is arguably better than the Kraber. Normally, it's kind of just even with the Kraber, but once you charge it, it's definitely better. So I'll put it right in between the Kraber and um, whatever fucking gun that is. So now with shotguns, we'll start off with the EVA Auto. The EVA Auto is basically just a bigger, better Mozambique with more ammo, but this is what I use when I'm looking for a Mastiff, so I'll put it at a, I'll put it at a C. Mastiff, great w weapon. I'm putting this at a, a high A. Now for the Mozambique. A lot of people um, like this weapon, but it's only got three in the mag, and like I said, the EVA Auto is just a better version of it, so I'm going to give it a, a high D. Peacekeeper, a lot rarer now. Uh, kind of trade places with the Mastiff. I'll put it here, just under the Mastiff, just because, again, it's a more rare weapon. And by the time that you find one of these, you probably already have, you know, a um, purple stabilizer on your Mastiff. And you're just, like, whatever. You're, you already got your loadout done. And plus, again, 
it's got limited ammo. And last, the pistols. I think without a doubt the RE45 is the best pistol. Again, this is one of those guns where it's like the R99. It's a very good weapon, but you need something to back it up with because all of its ammo isn't going to kill an enemy. You can pair it up with an R99 and get some kills. I think the P2020 is a really good weapon for spawn, and that's about it. You can use it kind of mid game, but you need something to back it up. So I'm going to put it at a D. Okay, I just realized I said the RE45 without it. That was the best pistol. I was wrong. I don't know why I said that. Wingman is obviously the best pistol. If I put the RE45 in A, according to my fucked up brain, this is an S. Alright, well, um, probably nobody agrees with this, but, um,. If you do or don't, let me know in the comments. Let me know what I fucked up on. Let me know what I didn't fuck up on. And, uh, yeah. See you guys in the next video.